Our top story tonight and campaigners are calling for parents in Jersey who've experienced a miscarriage to be entitled to time off work to grieve. The island's bringing in a parental bereavement law which will make sure parents can take leave if their child dies or if their baby is stillborn after 24 weeks of pregnancy. But those who've gone through the heartbreak of a miscarriage know that grief after a loss can happen at any stage. A warning, you might find some of Megan Owen's report upsetting. It was the loss of your hopes and your dreams. You know, I was pregnant, I knew when I was going to finish work. You know, we were going to have this nice life, it was our, would have been our first baby. All of those things, suddenly they're all gone. Jo and her partner said goodbye to their dreams many times. She set up the charity Philip's Footprints after her son was stillborn and had two other miscarriages. After surgery, Jo went straight back to work. It was the pretending you're OK. And I think grieving can take up a lot of bandwidth in your mind. And when that's happening, it's then hard to have, you know, full day's work. You have to concentrate on that when your mind's not really there. By the end of this year, things could change when Jersey is set to introduce parental bereavement leave. Built on Jack's law in the UK, parents can take up to two weeks off work if they've lost a child under 18, including babies who are stillborn after 24 weeks. But Joe wants the law to cover loss at any stage. You do just need a bit of time to take a breath and to perhaps think about what support you might need or just to have a, have a rest because grief can be absolutely exhausting. It's an acknowledgement as well of your loss and I think that's quite important for people. It's a little bit out of our control, it's, it's a medical model and whether a stillbirth is 12 weeks or 24 weeks is kind of out of the scope of this project. Now that's not to say that anyone who doesn't, who suffers a loss of a child before that time doesn't feel those impacts but the way that it's set up at the moment that 24 weeks is the break point. In the UK, campaigners failed to push a miscarriage leave bill through Parliament last week. Lawyer Keeley says she won't give up on George's law, named after her son. I hope and pray that this will go through fairly quickly and that George's law will go through fairly quickly in the next 12 months here and that Jersey will follow suit in that respect as well so that we're all singing from the same page and that we're all singing from the same hymn sheet and we all have this statutory protection because it matters not if there's a loss in Jersey or if there's a loss in the UK, the statistics are the same. Our main focus at the moment is to get this legislation in, get it working. We can always procure further changes from this going forward if we find there is really a pressing need to do so. Some believe the need is now. For parents like Joe, recognising all loss is a footstep to healing. Megan Owen, BBC Channel Islands News, Jersey. Now, if you've uh, been upset by the issues raised in Megan's report, there's a whole list of useful places you can find support and advice. Uh, just follow the details on your screen to the BBC Action Line.